hey hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so today we are going to see how we can create a sprint in a project okay or multiple sprints in a pro for a project now before creating any sprints first of all there is a prerequisite right since we are talking about sprints obviously the project should follow the process of agile right so when we configure our project in agile devops we need to select a process and the process should be agile so if, if I wanted to see the process for this particular project, the process which is set by me or by the admin person whosoever created this project, okay, in, in this case obviously I am the one. So if I, if I wanted to see the process, I can click on this uh, project settings sub option and then here in the processes you can see, okay, Azure is the process we are using, okay. So for this sprint currently, obviously we are using Agile process so we can create the sprints in this project now how to create the sprints first of all and and before creating the sprints let's check how many sprints i already have i don't remember even so currently i don't see any sprints created by me now since we are now starting i mean since we actually um, trying to create our first sprint we need to decide what would be the time frame for that sprint if you if you will create the first sprint as a two week sprint all the subsequent sprints will be created based on the first sprint um, timeline okay time frame if you wanted to create a sprint of three weeks then the first sprint the one which you create as a three week sprint the same time frame will be followed by the subsequent sprint like sprint 1, sprint 2, sprint 3, sprint 4, sprint 5 okay so I'll, I'll quickly show you what exactly I, I mean to say so let's to create let's go and create the sprints go to project settings inside project setting you need to click on project configuration and here you have option to create a child so click on this and uh, let's say it's uh, sprint 1 okay so I need to select the dates so let's say I'm selecting 24 today's date uh, two two week sprints 7th August okay right so I have selected two week sprints if I want if uh, let's suppose as per my requirement I want a three week sprint so I can select 14 right so if I selected three week sprint as in sprint one then the subsequent sprints like sprint two sprint three sprint four they will also follow the three week sprints so it, it depends on the first sprint configuration if you select it as a two week sprint the subsequent sprints will be following the time frame as two week so in this example i'll be taking two weeks sprint because this is the general practice i have seen in most of the projects again we can create one more so as many as you want you can create and it will suggest you the date I mean the start date of the next sprint after the end date of the uh, previous sprint so if you see here 8th was the last date okay sorry 7th was the last date of the sprint and this time it selected 9 let me take a look why maybe because of Sunday I think yeah so let, let's take a look to another one Ideally, it should select 21st. It should show suggestion for 21st. Again, because of Sunday, it is showing 23. Okay. So, in the in the configuration setting, settings, if you see somewhere, it should be mentioned that uh, Saturday and Sunday are the non-working days. That's the reason it is showing like this. okay so sunday as in uh, as in time it's ignoring basically you can see so this is how you can create the sprint and to view the sprint you can obviously go to azure boards and click on sprints here and uh, now you need to add these sprints here okay so select existing and from here you can add the sprints see now you have one now you added one sprint now again if you want to add you want to add another sprint you can add it if you want more you can add it more and let's suppose you wanted to add more than three sprints you can also create future sprints or further sprints directly from here you just have to name it 
and it will by default take the dates two weeks to, as in time frame and then it will create it so this is how you can create the sprints in the next video we will see how we can add work items in the sprints how we can manage the sprint how we can manage the backlogs what all these things okay so thank you thanks a lot for this video